Hi everyone and welcome to our Easter service at SEAC. I am glad to see you everyone and I'm glad you could join us today. This morning uh, we are going to do our Zoom worship with a song that was prepared by the NC girls. Uh, the song is called Living Hope. Let's all stand and let's sing along with them if we know the words. The words will be on the screen. Welcome back. Uh, today, I just want to remind us what we learned last week. Remember, Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he was praying to his Heavenly Father, asking if this cup of suffering could be taken away from him. 
Three times he prayed, and、um, he asked. But、uh, by the time he had finished praying in the garden, he had made a decision that he was going to obey God and go forward with what God had asked him to do. So、uh, on Good Friday,、uh, Pastor Stephen、uh, gave us a message about、uh, what happened to Jesus、um, when he died on the cross. We know that Jesus、uh, suffered and died on this cross not because he deserved it or he had any sin, but because he took on our punishment for our sins, so that we did not need to be punished.、Uh, so he rescued us、uh, when he died on the cross, so that we our sins could be forgiven. And uh, after uh, Jesus uh, was was gone, he had left this earth. Then、uh, Joseph of Arimathea had asked、uh, Pilate for his body, and he carefully wrapped Jesus' body in linen cloths and anointed his body with spices. After he was done, Joseph of Arimathea pushed the big stone in front of the tomb to seal it shut, while Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were watching from afar. They put two guards in front of the tomb so that nobody would steal the body. Have any of you ever tried to、uh, move something heavy before and tried to do it very quietly? How how was that? Was that something that was easy to do? So let me give you an example. Let's say that you're trying to move your dresser,、uh, where you put your clothes in, or, or your bed in your in your bedroom. Is that something that is easy for you to do without making any noise? Probably not, right? Well, first of all, it's probably too heavy for you to do it yourself, and then second of all,、uh, it it might be hard for you to do it、uh, very quietly. Well, it's similar to what what happened when、uh, the stone was placed in front of Jesus' tomb. We know that there were two guards that were guarding this tomb, and there was a big stone that was sealing the tomb. Do you think that it would have been easy for uh, um, them to move the stone without alerting the guards? No, probably not at all. As they were moving the stone, the stone was probably making lots of noise and would probably have disturbed the guards and wake、uh, waken them up, right? Well, we know that early、uh, Easter morning, as the sun was rising,、uh, Mary Magdalene and Mary went out to the tomb, and Uh, you might be asking, how was how how did the uh, rock uh, roll away? How did the stone roll away? Well, an earthquake came, and the angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and he rolled the stone away, and he casually sat on top of the stone. So, kids, why do you think that the what what do you think the kids found? Sorry, what do you think the two women found when they went inside the tomb? Did they find Jesus' body there? No, they didn't. And、uh, where did it go? It was gone. That's right. What was left inside the tomb? Only linen cloths、uh, were there. The linen cloths that were used to wrap Jesus' body. So where did Jesus go? Did he unwrap himself and run away? No, that's not possible, because he had died. So what happened to Jesus? Well, the so、uh, well we know that、uh, Jesus died and he rose again and he is alive. So let's think about.、Uh, so they were looking for his body, but they wouldn't find him because he had risen from the dead. So let's talk about the soldiers now. The soldiers that were guarding the tomb. How do you think they felt? When they found out that this、uh, stone was rolled away and there was no bo- no more body in the tomb, do you think they felt happy? Do you think they felt scared, or do you think they felt、uh, disappointed? Oh, okay. So, so many of you said that most likely they felt very scared or terrified. That's correct. So, a lot of the、uh, the guards felt so afraid because、uh, first of all they were seeing an angel, and then they were also afraid. For their life, because they knew they would be punished、uh, for not guarding the tomb properly, and because the stone was、uh, rolled away and the body was no longer there, was it their fault that the body was gone? No, it was because a miracle had happened. Jesus has had risen from the dead, and he had escaped on his own and ascended back to heaven, and then come back. He came back. So the soldiers were afraid. 
And what do you think? How do you think Mar the two Marys reacted? Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. Were they afraid too? Yes, they were afraid too. Uh, the angel reassured them by saying these words. Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. Uh, he has been raised from the dead. Go and tell the disciples uh, what you have seen and remember what I have told you. So the woman ran qui uh, quickly to tell the disciples what they had seen and what they had heard. Mar the two Marys were both filled with joy and also they were frightened, but they went to uh, to go see the disciples and tell them what the angel had told them. So why was it that Mary and uh, uh, the two Marys were scared and joyful at the same time? They were scared probably because they had never seen an angel before. And they were probably joyful because angel told them that Jesus is alive and not dead. And that is why the body is missing from the tomb. They were probably also hopeful that they would one day see Jesus again. So what does Jesus do? As they're on their way to see the disciples, Jesus bumps into them. And he appears in front of them and he greets them. And as he greets them, the, the ladies are overjoyed. They, they go and they, they fall down and they hug his feet and they hold on to him and they start worshiping him. Because Jesus is alive. He's not dead. They're so happy and they're so amazed to see Jesus. And, uh, and after that, they were so excited to tell the disciples what they had seen and what they had heard. Do we know, remember that in the Gospel of John, Mary thinks that Jesus is a gardener. But uh, uh, after Jesus calls her by name, she realizes that this person who's standing in front of her is actually Jesus, her master and her teacher. So what can we learn about uh, Jesus and about being our living hope? We know that if Jesus died on the cross, but he didn't come back, then we would have no hope. Um, but because Jesus is alive again, and he rose from the dead, then we have hope when we put our faith and trust in Jesus. This hope is not wishful thinking, like when you hope you will get a new bike, or when you hope to make new friends, or when you hope you're going to get good grades. No, this is not the kind of hope we're talking about here. We're talking about eternal hope. Hoping in Jesus is something that will never change, because God never changes. And he is the same today, yesterday, today, and forever. Once we place our faith and trust in Jesus, no one can take our hope away from us. He is like an anchor that keeps us grounded and steady in every storm. And he will help us when we are afraid. Let us uh, uh, sing the song once again, uh, the, the song Living Hope, as a response to our message today. Let us always remember that Jesus is our living hope when we put our trust in him. Let's sing together.
Hi everyone, uh, before you leave, I just want to remind you that you can find the video for this week at www.252studio.tv. You can click on the, on the fun to watch uh, tab in that link and then uh, look for the week two video, which is called Crucified and Risen. All right, have a good week and uh, we will see you next week. Happy Easter.